Cluster headache treatment is divided into three main categories, acute, transitional therapy, and preventive therapy. As acute treatment, um, injection of um, sumatriptan six milligrams provides the fastest relief and uh, makes it the uh, most reliable abortive treatment of choice. Also, the inhalation of high flow oxygen by a non-rebreather mask for 15 minutes during a cluster attack can be effective in a significant proportion of patients. Um, other forms of triptan, like intranasal triptans, can be an alternative, though they are slower acting compared to the injectable sumatriptan. Oral triptans can be considered for individuals uh, with prolonged cluster attacks, but their relatively slow onset of action makes it a less desirable uh, acute treatment compared to the injectables and the nasal spray. Other options for, for treating cluster headache attacks include vagus nerve stimulation in episodic cluster headache, um, intranasal lidocaine, ergotamine, and in some uh, uh, situations, dihydrogotamine. Transitional therapy can be used to provide temporary relief uh, while waiting for the benefit of the preventive treatments to kick in. To kick in. Um, greater occipital nerve blocks, which are normally um, injected as a mixture of corticosteroid and local anesthetic um, in the greater occipital nerve territory on the side of the pain can be a, a very effective treatment in the majority of patients. Um, also, a one to two uh, week course of oral corticosteroid can be effective in reducing the frequency of the cluster headache while the steroids are taken, though uh, in some patients, the uh, uh, oral steroids are not very well tolerated because of the common steroid side effects. Preventive therapy reduces the frequency of cluster headaches. For individuals with episodic cluster headache, preventive therapy is used during the cluster period and typically is discontinued after the cluster period ends. Verapamil, uh, a, a calcium uh, channel blocker, is considered the first treatment, um, the first preventive treatment for cluster headache prevention for both episodic and chronic. Available data and clinical impression suggest that verapamil is the most effective treatment in, a, in the majority of patients. Uh, electrocardiogram monitoring is necessary to screen for cardiac conduction delays during the verapamil uh, therapy titration. Although lithium uh, might be similarly effective as verapamil, um, it does take uh, a bit longer uh, for the effect to uh, become evident, and it can be associated with uh, um, some side effects uh, that make it uh, a second or third line treatment. Newer options for episodic cluster headache um, uh, prevention include a galcanezumab, a calcitonin gene-related peptide monoclonal antibody that has shown to be effective in uh, has been shown to be effective in episodic cluster headache prevention. Other treatment uh, with the mixed evidence uh, include topiramate, melatonin, sodium valproate, baclofen, and in some countries, methysergite. Um, invasive neuromodulation, such as occipital nerve stimulation and deep breath stimulation, is reserved for the most refractory uh, patients, usually with chronic cluster headache. 